Good morning, everybody, and welcome to eLearning for today. Uh, what I would like for you guys to do is to continue looking over the information that I put online on Friday about the Zodiac Killer. About half of you guys have turned this assignment in and half of you guys have not. So there's a, a link to an article by the History Channel, and there are some questions that go along with the link. But what I also want you guys to do is to play with some of the other uh, links that I have here. And let me show you what that one does. So if you click on the link that is um, on the page there, the first link after the History Channel article, the second link, I'm sorry, then you can go to this, um, which is the cipher that has just recently been solved. Um, just uh, like I think it was December, a group of, of code breakers managed to um, solve this. And one of the ways they did it was they, they realized that the, the Zodiac actually put words in at a diagonal and you know that when they figured that out it made it easier for the computer actually is what uh, finally broke the code but i want you guys to play with it and see what you can, you can come up with and here's how you do it so um, i'm going to click on this symbol right here and i'm going to type the letter i want and I'm, let's just say i think that that should be an o so i'll put an o and then everywhere where that symbol is in in the cipher an o will appear over here it tells you what percentages of each letter are expected to occur in the code. Over here, it shows the frequencies of the symbols. So if, for example, E is expected to be 13% of the cipher, and then 24% of the symbols are a plus sign, then I could go over here, click on the plus sign, and type in an E. And then you can sort of see, you can go from there and, and figure out, let's see if you can do that or not. Um, if you want to look up the answer to the 340 cipher, which that's what this one is, um, you can find it online. It doesn't give any identifying information, more, more of the same kind of stuff that the Zodiac has been saying all along, like wanted to kill his slaves and have them in paradise, things like that. But you can also go to the 408 cipher, which is this one, and that's 408 letters, and this one has not been solved. So um, you can play with this one. So 52% of the letters are expected to be an E, so if I come over here and I look 16% of this symbol, so I'm going to go find the Q symbol, Q, 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 here's one, and I type in an E, then it shows me all the places where an E has popped up. And keep in mind that um, one of the reasons why they haven't been able to break all the codes on all these ciphers are he didn't just use a substitution code after the first one was solved. He used other methods too, like, placing the sentences on a diagonal or moving things around in, you know, inside words. So it's kind of fun. So play with that and see what you think, if you can do anything there that will help you solve the, the Zodiac um, ciphers. So we come back over here and I will show you, there's also another link. If you haven't looked at this yet, um, it's called the Zodiac typewriter. So if you click on this to follow this link, and this is just for fun. So you can type anything you want and it will show up in the, the letters that the uh, Zodiac used. So I'm just going to type in Mrs. Humphreys is the, uh, aha, now that's what this looks like. <laughs> so actually, the, mine looks kind of simple. If you put it like that, um, you can type in anything you want and see what, what symbols you could use. You can change the symbols that you're using um, and just Write me a message if you want. So have a good ice day and uh, stay safe. Thanks. Bye.